Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new video from MJD Web Design. Um, in this video, I'm just going to be going over the drop down navigation menu again, slightly remastered, uh, better quality, and some more up to date code. Uh, so, we'll start. Uh, just basic HTML format here with a tiny bit of CSS or the uh, LinkedIn. So, we'll go ahead and hit enter a couple of times in our body. And uh, we'll start with the HTML5 nav tags this time. And we'll go ahead and end that off with a comment nav end. Okay. So inside here, we'll go ahead and add a UL. Not in caps. There we have it. And inside there, we're just going to add a few list items. Let's add a link. In between the list items, we'll just I'm just gonna put uh, nav item one. And uh, once you've done that, you can just copy it, copy and paste a couple of those. Add five. Uh, so two, three, four, and five. So we have nav item one, two, three, four, and five. Just in between nav tags, in between ul tags, and in between li tags. So pretty straightforward so far um, what we'll do is we'll make nav item 2 we'll make it drop down menu 1 and then let's say nav item 5 we'll make drop down menu 2 and those ones these two list items we're going to be making into drop down menus okay so um, Let's, uh, let's control S that, save it, and we'll go have a look at what it looks like on the page. So, very basic, no styling, uh, so that's what we can do now. So back over to brackets, uh, we'll go ahead, go down to our CSS, and I'm going to do nav, background, colour, and I'll just grab the colour I have here. Okay, so I'm going to be using this colour just for this tutorial, but it could be whatever. Okay, we'll go ahead and preview that again to see where we're up to. So you can see we've got a background colour on the nav now. Okay, once we have the background colour on the nav, we're going to go ahead and uh, style the UL, which is list style type none, to get rid of all the bullets and the uh, the list uh, the styling of the nav. Uh, padding zero margin zero because we don't need that uh, nav ulli we want the um, list items to be um, listed horizontally not vertically so we're going to put display inline block which will put the list items next to each other so we'll preview it again refresh the page and there we have it still looking pretty bad but uh, what we'll go ahead and do is add text align center onto the ul well, uh, onto the nav, uh, sorry, move that down onto the UL. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and style the links a little bit. So nav, UL, LI, A, um, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to make the a display block so that it covers the entire list item, uh, not just the text. Uh, we'll give it a padding. Of 15 pixels uh, give the text a color of white and uh, text decoration we don't want any of it that's text transform text decoration none save it again have a quick look refresh and that's what we have so far so let's add a little bit of color on hover so we'll go that down to here and we'll just go ahead and go underneath the nav ul li nav ul li hover background color and i'm just going to grab the color i chose here i'll save it i have a quick look and there we have it now I'm going to show you something with the HTML now. Uh, if you can see, we're going to put our cursor over the first item, slowly move it across. Our click 
cursor disappears. And there's a little gap there. Now the way to get rid of this, there's multiple ways, but my um, preferred way is to go to HTML. And what we're going to do is we're going to delete all the first li tags. Apart from the first. So we're going to leave the first li tag and then delete the rest. Now at the end of the first li tag, you want to add the first li tag back in. So now it goes li, then you've got your link, end li, start li, and then new line, and then within that li, you have your link again. End li, and we're just going to add that to all of those. So I'll show you what we've basically done here. What we've done is we've moved this li tag just up to this line of code. So up there. So now they're just positioned in a different way. Now if we go back. Now, you might have just seen that, but they all just condensed and moved inwards. That's because that gap has now disappeared. Okay. So, once we've got that sorted, we can start looking at adding the drop down menu. So, <coughs> excuse me. What we'll go ahead and do is add the HTML for the drop down menus in. So, in between, like we made before, we made these links drop down menu one, drop down menu two. In between, the ending link tag and the uh, ending li tag. You want to click there, hit enter, and then add our unordered list, another unordered list. And then within there, we just want to do the same with the li tags and add some links in. So I'm just going to call these drop down item one. So I'll just make, say, four of them in this one. So two, three, and four. And then we'll do the same for the drop down menu two in between the ending li tag, uh, ending a tag and ending li tag. Click there, hit enter. And we want another unordered list. And we'll just do the same thing. Drop down menu one. Uh, sorry, item one. Okay, two and three. So save. We'll go ahead and go back onto Firefox and have a quick preview. As you can see, it's all gone wrong. It's all. It looks like it's gone wrong, but it hasn't. You can see that if we hover over this drop down menu, all our li tags that are in that are down here. Okay, so it is working. It is working. So. Um, to the nav ul, we also want to give it a position relative. Okay, so now uh, we're going to go ahead and style the drop down menu so that it works. So that when we hover over this uh, list item, it shows all these uh, rather than just being there. So uh, we'll go ahead and do nav um, ul ul position i'll just move my cursor here sorry position absolute save we'll go check it so as you can see the navigation menu is back to normal now and um you can see that the drop down menu is technically working i mean there is a drop down menu there However, we don't want it styled like this at all. So, on the nav ul ul, we're going to give it a background color of, uh, we're going to give it the same color as what we made the background color hover. So, we're going to copy and paste that there. And we're going to go on Firefox, refresh. And you can see now they have a default color, but they're all styled wrong. So to fix that, we're going to go ahead and do nav ul ul li. I'm going to change them 
I'm going to change the list items from being inline block and we're just just display them as blocks so now rather than having the list items displaying horizontally we're going to make them display vertically again so back to our firefox as you see we have some working shutdown menus kind of so the nav ul ul we don't want it to display um when the per when whoever's viewing the site comes on we don't want the drop down menu to be seen until they they hover over this item so we don't want this area to be seen until the user hovers this list item so we'll go ahead into the nav ul ul and we'll do display none so now it will, will, you'll see when we, ref when we refresh the drop down menus don't show what we want to add now nav ul li hover ul display block so what this line of code is saying is that when the user hovers over nav ul li we want the ul to display block so you should be able to see this working when we refresh it there you go so when the user which is me when my cursor goes over this list item we want it to display the ul that's within that list item which it's doing okay now i'm also going to add something that doesn't really need to be added but it makes it look a bit nicer so i'm going to add a min width of 200 pixels just so that can you see how it's just a little bit short of the original list item now that we've added that it'll just go over it a little bit it just look, makes it look a bit nicer so we'll also go ahead just for styling purposes um we want to text align left again and i'm just going to add a border uh two pixels solid and i'm going to make it the same as the nav border top zero margin top right bottom left minus two pixels okay and if we go look again refresh just looks a little bit better so what i've done there is all i've done is i text uh, align the text left uh, i added a border of two pixels around the entire ul ul uh, i disabled the top border and i just moved the ul two pixels to the left um, the same width as the border okay so now let's go ahead and style the no, drop down menu list times a little bit so nav ul ul li hover we're going to make the background color the same as a nav background again so back onto firefox drop the menu and you can see it just works nicely um but this bit doesn't look very good. So what I'm going to do as well. Again, this doesn't have to be done. But something I like to do. Is just on the nav ul ul. I'm just going to give. A padding. Padding. Uh, let's say. Uh, four pixels. Top. Zero right. Four pixels bottom. Zero left. Refresh. And it just moves away slightly from the bottom and top. So you get a little bit of spacing away from that top navigation bar. Okay. So there we go. That is how you create a simple drop down navigation menu. You can have as many as you want in the navigation menu. There's no limit. You could have all of these as drop down menus if you really wanted to. Uh, the entire drop down menu is customizable down to colors, styling, positioning, all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, I hope I hope you know this video has helped you out. I hope it, I hope it's worked for you. Apparently, I can't talk. Um, but yeah, if it if it hasn't worked, let me know in the comment section below, uh, and I'll I'll try and get back to everyone, um, uh, which I should be able to. 
And yeah, I'll put some advice down there. But uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.